You guys have been begging me to do this video for months now, and I've been trying to hold back onto it for until summer, but I guess I'm doing it now, aren't I? What's up guys, it is I, the Apple Buyer here today, I'm back with a brand new video for you all, and today we're doing a video on my Apple collection. I will be showing you guys my entire Apple collection. All of them will be Apple devices. I'll show you my boxes, my devices, the things that work, the things that don't work, although, spoiler alert, all my devices do work. Some work better than others, but we'll get into that eventually. And I'm just gonna show you everything. Um, the reason why I've been holding back on doing a collection video is because my device collection is always changing. Like, when you watch this video today, this is what I have right now, but literally the next day it could change. I'm not kidding you. The device is either A, taken out, or B, added in. So right now, as you're watching this video, this is my collection, but literally tomorrow it could change. I'll probably do an another updated collection like midway through summer, so enjoy this while you got it because I'm trying to hold back until summer to do a really good one. Hope you liked the thumbnail though, that, that was a pretty cool thumbnail I liked, so you can see it right now. Thought it was pretty cool, and let's get started looking at my collection. Now first off, we're just going to get started with the biggest devices, so if we go over here, i got to take my charger with me since my phone's about to die. If we go all the way over here, you can see this is my iMac G3, this is the 266 megahertz model, um, it was from 1999 if I'm correct. I'll show you guys the specs real quick. So you can see the specs right there. This iMac G3 is running Mac OS 9.2, uh, specifically 9.2.2. .2. It has 96 megabytes of RAM with 97 megabytes of virtual memory. If you don't know what virtual memory is, it's basically RAM, but on the hard drive. It's what they had to do back in the day when there wasn't much RAM. But anyway, and of course it has the 266 megahertz, and I don't know what graphics is in it, but the graphics card inside this thing is a potato either way. So yeah, this, this computer here is in really good condition. I always leave this open because I, I tend to take out the USB drive from here. It is worth mentioning, I don't like admitting this, but I kinda, I'm really mad at myself for doing this, but I kinda messed up the CD drive in this thing. Um, it was during one of the other videos that I messed it up, and although you didn't see it, but um, basically the button doesn't eject. You have to have a little hole to eject it. It still plays the CD as you can see right there. It has the CD loaded up, but I just messed up the ejector thing. Don't kill me because it was an accident and I'm still really mad at myself for that, but that's literally the only thing. It's just the CD drive is wonky. Getting a wee bit modern here, we have my Crackbook Pro here. It is a MacBook Pro uh, mid-2012. It has upgraded RAM inside it and I will be getting a new hard drive for it soon, specifically an SSD for it. And you can see right there it is cracked. That's why I call it the Crackbook Pro. Don't ask how it got cracked because I don't know. It was before I owned this, something happened to it. And uh, yeah, so it's just cracked there. Eventually I will get a new screen for it. And if you're wondering, I pretty much paid next to nothing for this computer. So that's why it's cracked. I mean, it was like $80, so who cares? And uh, I upgraded the RAM in it so far. It has eight gigabytes of RAM. I'll show you the specs real quick as soon as it wants to do that. He, the, the owner said he doesn't want the serial number shown, so I, I'm just respecting him for that. So you can see right there, 2.5 gigahertz Intel Core i5, eight gigs of 1600 megahertz DDR3 RAM. And then of course it does have the uh, original, original 500 gigabyte uh, HDD, but I won't be using that here very soon. You'll be seeing a video of me upgrading the hard drive to an SSD. Now the first box that I have is my iPhone 3G box here. I don't have the matching iPhone 3G with it. It's just a random box that I have for an iPhone 3G. Um, you can see right there, I got the little thing, it's empty. It's just a box with a random manual. You can see there, it's the important product guide. Funny enough, this is actually, uh, this 3G is from Taiwan, if you can see right there. Some somehow this came from Taiwan, so oh, I'm showing their address too. Oh, oops, I don't even know what that might just be the Apple Store address, but yep. If you want to see the serial number of this 3G2, then hey, 
go ahead and look at yours but either way this is just a random iphone 3g box i have now this is where you guys are going to get really excited because i know you guys are always like oh what i devices you have this is all the i devices i currently have Right now, so we're just going to start from the oldest iPhone to the newest iPhone, whether it be off of operating system and model. So let's just start off with my iPhone 2G here. Um, this iPhone 2G here does work. Um, I'll just boot it up for you guys. It is, oh, hey, it's already running. It is running iOS 3, um, 3.1.3 to be exact. Uh, perfect working order, really. I mean, runs 3.1.3. The only problem with it is that it is slightly cracked there. And it does have a broken Wi-Fi antenna. The cover is messed up on it, too. We're... Looks like it's on now. Okay, that's cool. Well, the cover is messed up on it. The Wi-Fi antenna is broken. And uh, it's a little bit cracked. Next up is my iPhone 3G here. This is a 16 gigabyte model. I also forgot to mention this is an 8 gig model. But this is my 16 gigabyte white iPhone 3G. Uh, really good condition. This phone works perfectly fine. It's actually in really good condition. It's like barely even scratched. It's a very good iPhone 3G. Nothing really special about that. Um, it's also running 4.2.1. I haven't downgraded it. It was running 2.0 at one point though. Um, this is my iPhone 3GS here. It is old boot ROM. This is a 32 gigabyte model and this one works too. Just fine. It's kind of scratched up all in the back for whatever reason. It almost looks like someone took a knife to it but Yep, this one is in perfect work working order too. This is running 6.1.6, .6, but I need to downgrade this back to 4.1 eventually. I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, oh, I forgot about my other 3G. This is another 3G I have. This is 16 gigabytes, and it's cracked a little bit. I'm going to fix or replace the screen eventually. Um, it's pretty easy to fix 3G screens, so eventually I will be getting a new screen for it. But other than that, uh, just a cracked screen there and then a little crack there. Um, and then that's it. This is also 16 gigs running 4.2.1 uh, I'm, I'm actually thinking about replacing the screen on this phone and doing this phone for the giveaway If you think this is a good phone to give away for my 1,000 subscribers giveaway uh, Comment that down below. It'll have a new screen and everything so that's literally like the only defect of this phone So if you'd like this phone to have it then comment that down below because this might be the phone that I give away eventually, but um it will go up to the iPhone 4. Uh, this is an iPhone 4 here, the CDMA model. Read the model number there. Uh, I'm not going to get into that debate again about, that's a 4S. No, no, this is a 4. I, I promise you guys that. Uh, this iPhone 4 here is dual booted on iOS 7.1.2 and 6.1.3. This is a 16 gigabyte model. And as I said, it is a CDMA model. It doesn't have the antenna there because it is a CDMA model for Verizon. So uh, yeah, that this phone takes forever to boot up too. Um, I have another iPhone 4 here. This is running, yes. This iPhone 4, uh, or not 4S, this is a 4. This is um, a CDMA model as well. This is running iOS 5.0.1. Um, I'll show I'll show you guys all the firmwares eventually. Don't worry. But this is an iPhone 4 running 5.0.1. It is an 8 gigabyte model, and you can see there the cracks are pretty brutal on it. But it's running iOS 5, so who cares really? So that's a 4. Then we have another 4 here. This is also a CDMA model, and this iPhone 4 is running iOS 6.1.2. This is also an 8 gigabyte model, but this one is in perfect condition. Uh, works just fine, so yeah, that's just another 4. And then going up to another iPhone 4, this is actually a 4S, and this iPhone 4S is running iOS 6.1.3. This phone works perfectly. This is probably one of my favorite iPhones I own. So 6.1.3 iPhone 4S, so you can see right there, all have the same antenna bands, but one of them is a 4S and the other is a 4. So 7.1.2 and 6.1.3 dual booted, then 5.0.1, then 6.1.2, and then 6.1.3. So I'll let you guys take a quick look at that here. So one second here. Oh boy. Okay. You can see there. You can see all the home screens and everything. I should just leave these all running here so that way you can see them all. So. We'll just do that. Oh, my Apple ID came up there. Whoops. So you can see right there. Um, so that's obviously iOS 7, but um, yeah. So you can see right there, all of them are iPhone 4s. 
5.0.1, 7.1.2, 6.1.2, 6.1.3. And then I'll just show you that this phone is dual booted as well. Um, right there, you can see pretty lit stuff. And that phone takes forever to boot iOS 6, so lock your device. So good thing I have the thing here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it's going to start booting that up. And while we're waiting for that to boot up, is it going to boot up? There we go. Okay, now it's booting that up. Let's look at the iPods. I don't really have as many iPods, but whatever. So this is my iPod Touch second generation. This is running iOS 2.2.1. I did downgrade this device. And I would make a video on how to downgrade it, but I forgot how to downgrade it, unfortunately. So... I'll show you that this iPod Touch second generation is running iOS 2.2.1. Then we have my other second generation iPod Touch. This device um, has a broken power button on it, unfortunately, so it's never shut down. But it is running stock iOS 4. Um, this, let's see, is this done? Yeah, this is done. You can see right there. You can just see the difference of how different they are. This one's cracked, by the way. It's pretty obvious, but it does work fine. So we'll, I'll just show you here. That's running 2.2.1. Oh, it's 2.1.1, excuse me. And my cat is about to jump on here. What are you doing? Oh my, you are not going to. What are you? Honey. Honey. What is she doing? Honey, why are you standing in the drawer with all my devices? Honey. Okay, then what? All right, well, I guess we can have a pretty kitty tail in there. So um, you can see right there, iOS 6, and my cat's just sneezing now. 6.1.3, it's pretty obvious, really. And please don't knock down my phones. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, anyway, um, you saw right there. And then as I was trying to say, 4.2.1 and then 2.1.1, iPod Touch second generations. Um, oops. And then the power button is broken here, so I'll just leave that to auto rest. And then finally, I have my, or not finally actually, this is my iPod Touch 5th generation. This is a 32 gigabyte model. I also forgot to mention the gigabyte models for this. This is a 16 gigabyte uh, MC, or MB model. And then this is a MC model that is 8 gigabytes. Then of course, this is my 32 gigabyte iPhone, or not iPhone, iPod Touch 5th generation. It is uh, the old space gray. This isn't even space gray. This is slate gray. Um, I got this back in 2012. This is actually my first I iOS device. And unfortunately, it is running crap OS 9.3.5. Sadly, I, I don't really like this iPod anymore. And then, of course, my final iPod Touch. Or actually, no, it's not my final. But um, here, let me take off the case for this device. This is my iPod Touch first generation uh, I love this iPod to absolute death. This is like the, my main music device. I, I use this thing for everything because my cat wants to get out. This is my main music device because I love the DAC inside it. It is absolutely amazing. I, I love this device. And I even forgot to show you guys the boxes that I have. Crap. I have the box for my iPod Touch 5th generation here. And then, of course, the box for my iPod Touch 1st generation. I forgot where I put that thing. But here's the box right there. It was a refurbished model. Where did I put that iPod? Okay, okay, I found it. So uh, you can see the serial number right there, maybe. Can you see the serial number? Can you see it? You can see the serial number, 99E and then F, I think it says. And you can see the serial number right there. So it is, or is it? Yeah, so you can see the serial numbers right there. They are matching, so that's good stuff. And same goes for this. And um, let me reorganize this real quick. So yeah, here are here's a quick look at them again. All these iPhone 4s here. And I'm about to knock down the iPhone 3Gs again. Uh, you can see all my 3Gs and 3GSs and 2G. And then, of course, all my iPod Touches that I currently own right there. And then my iPod Nano 6. And then, of course, the iPhone 6 that I'm recording with now. And then the MacBook Pro, or as I call it, the Crackbook Pro, and then my iMac G3. Well, guys, that is my official collection that I own right now. Uh, things will definitely change within the days and the weeks. I know that much. I will do an updated version of this, though, and I know you guys will love it. I hope 
you guys enjoyed this video a ton of you have been begging for it and i knew that i should probably get around to it eventually and i was like screw it why not what could go wrong so hope you enjoyed seeing my collection i'm sure many of you guys will like it and i will be buying more iphones ipods soon to be ipads i need to get some ipads next and eventually some more apple computers will come eventually mainly vintage ones of course and yeah go ahead and follow my instagram and twitter if you'd like it is at the apple buyer no spaces it will be in the left corner of the video links will be down below as always hope you enjoyed and i will be doing a double upload today and if you can't tell my voice is kind of blowing out i've been yapping my mouth all day so yeah I'm, I'm sorry my voice is going out you'll be seeing a double upload today of me destroying my android phone officially i know i've done two other videos destroying this phone but i'm just gonna take a hammer to it smash the phone and completely end it so you'll be seeing that later today if you'd like um sorry for not uploading yesterday i just was tired yesterday so yeah thanks for watching and peace